One of the most frustrating things of starting a restaurant is building the website. And the reason why it's so frustrating is because you either invest tens of thousands of dollars hiring an agency to do the work for you. And that's a very hefty price tag to start off running your business. On the other hand, if you were to go on the more economic route, you can hire someone from overseas and that also poses a big problem. The problem of miscommunication, being able to actually translate what you have in your mind to someone from overseas. And oftentimes there's a big lag time and it usually takes a lot more effort than it seems and the product just doesn't match up to what you believe in. And that's the reason why the third option is to build it out yourself. In today's world, having and building your website is actually quite easy. And that's the reason why I'm shooting this video to show you how I'm building my own website in less than 20 minutes using website builders like Wix.com. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a successful, profitable restaurant. In today's world, we dive deep into how to build your own website for your restaurant using website builders like Wix. And the reason why is because more than 77% of people who decide to go out and eat, they would check out your website first to decide if it is in line with what they're looking for. More than 43% of the people who is ordering takeout and delivery, they come and check out your website. What does that mean? That means if your website is not good, if it does not optimize, if it is not having the right user experience, you are gonna be losing sales. And that's the reason why we focus so much on websites. And the frustrating part is that having good website is very, very difficult because first of all, you don't wanna pay hefty fees with agencies. And that's the reason why building up your own website is the next alternative, which I'm gonna be showing you how effective it is. Speaking of effective, I just wanna take a moment to thank our friends over from Wix.com for sponsoring and making this video happen for us. They are a website builder, which makes it super effective to build a website. They have more than 60 templates for us to choose from. They're beautiful to choose from, which I'll dive in just a second. Today's video, I'm gonna be actually building up Wilson's Wings. That's my restaurant, and I'm gonna be showing you the three pages that we're building out. First, the menu. Second, the ordering process. And third, how to take a reservation using Wix.com. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. So once we create our own account, you're gonna be drawn to this platform right here, and you are gonna be clicking on create new site. So once you click into this create new site, you're gonna be drawn to here. You're gonna click into restaurant and food as well. So while you're here, you can either start by clicking on this button, which shows you exactly this AI method of creating this website for you. So it basically creates a website for you without you even doing much. Super cool stuff. Um, however, in today's demo, I'm actually gonna choose a template and create that website with you alongside of you. So you can actually see some of the functionality of this platform. And the reason why I do enjoy building up my own website is because I don't wanna pay 50 bucks an hour for someone to update my website when I can easily just come in, click of a few button and I can update the menu myself. And as you can see here, there's more than 60 different templates of websites that you can create. And these looks beautiful by, by a few clicks of a button. If you have a coffee shop, you can click this. Let's say if you have a pub, you can click this. Something a little bit more artisan is this one. Healthy food. So all these websites are really great ideas of something that you can create and then bakery items is a huge for a lot of people um yeah so let's go back to the first page i saw something that i personally really like because i like to always go back to my fried chicken example so for today's demonstration we're going to do this one so we can actually click into view to see how this whole website works and we can see, okay, you know what? This is how it functions. You know what? This is a really good way to display everything that I enjoy and like. You know what? We're gonna choose this template and actually build out my own website from this template. Let's go ahead. So now after the page loads, this brings you to the template of what it looks like. This is actually really, really intuitive and just click on any different buttons and you can already change things right here. I can change this to, you know, four, five, six, Wilson Drive. I can 
come here instead of telephone is this actually yeah you can change your website your email everything you can add your instagram account here let's see here this button and it brings you to the website or the facebook page let's say this is going to be linking to wilson's wings beautiful done so when i click on this it would automatically bring me to wilson's wings since this is what i'm going to be named naming this whole website okay so you can really customize everything here as you can see right here i can actually customize here with different quote uh different fonts as well i like this one change to this one a little bit funkier wilson's wings and yeah, you can change up all the different images to the images that you have taken in your restaurant as well. So super, super intuitive. All you have to do is just double click and manage media. And you can already just click on manage media and then you can add in different types of images to replace the ones that are on here. So it's very, very intuitive if you have new items you can easily add it on here. You need little to no technical background. You don't need to know how to code in order for this to work. Now for this, today's video, we're diving into the three parts of what we're gonna be editing. First, it's gonna be the menu. Now, how do we get to the menu item or the icon or the menu page? Click on the pages and automatically you can see that we are focusing on menu today. So we're gonna click on menu and this is automatically generated so you don't have to do anything extra you don't need to add a page but let's say if you want to add a home page or a why page or a values page you can easily click on add a page and automatically it adds a new page for you and you can actually customize what this new page is all going to be so once we're in the menu page you see that there's a tons of different items that are pre-populated for you now for me i want to change a few things and i want to showcase to you how this works so let's say we want to change this up manage the menu just double click on stuff and play around with it and as you can see right here there's the menu i am just going to click on edit menu and there you go these are all the different menu items that are that we can actually edit we can we can delete them we can archive it if we don't have desserts let's say you know what we don't sell desserts i'm just going to archive it so there you go you can see things now let's say if i want to put my sides all the way up top click here and drag it See, I'm going to drag it all the way up top. I'm going to sell my sides first, right? Usually you don't want to do that, but as you can see, I'm just showing you how this whole thing works. Now, let's say I want to change up my chicken sandwich. Instead of calling it chicken sandwich, I want to call it, let's see here, I'm going to edit this. Instead of calling it classic chicken sandwich, I'm going to call it Wilson's spicy chicken sandwich. Wilson's spicy chicken sandwich. Edit description, Wilson's spicy, Wilson's homemade sauce, a hot sauce with chicken tenders, with chicken tenders. Price, $19 instead of $9. And the beautiful, beautiful thing about this is that there are so many different of these icons that you can click onto and it adds as an icon onto your menu. Makes it super easy for people to know whether it's vegan, vegetarian, how spicy it is. I'm gonna have a three extra hot. This is gonna be a vegan burger. You can show your customers or you can just show your staff. It's either in stock or not in stock. So basically, if you run out of this, you come into this platform and click out of stock. And now we're gonna update it with an image of images of your chicken sandwich. Now, when you're adding image, I would highly recommend you to take your own image because it's a really true reflection of your own brand. So right here, click on media, upload from computer. And for me, I've actually saved a spicy burger image already just for the sake of this demo which makes it easier for you to see now you can actually explore different media on either wix or shutterstock or unsplash and these are all pictures that you can actually purchase online let's say if i want to check uh, check out chicken sandwich then it would show me a few different chicken sandwich right here so as I was sharing with you, we already have our own image that I have downloaded. I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna add it to page. Boom, this is what it looks like, looks beautiful. Okay, you know what, time to save it. This is what it looks like, beautiful guys. All right, all right. And then right here, we can see, is it gonna be available for delivery and pickup? 
where is it going to be available, whether it's on the website, on the mobile site, or for phone order, and when is it going to be available as well. So sometimes I, I did talk about, let's say, third-party apps. You want to be able to create a special menu for a third-party app because of the 20-30% margins that it's going to ding you on. And that's the reason why you want to create items that are high in margins specifically for these third-party apps. So for those items, I might create a special menu just available for delivery, right? So, but for this case, we're just going to keep it open for everything. Uh, once again, click simply click on edit and you can actually adjust all these things right here. Dish Hashem does this dish have any extra size toppings? You can add different options here. Beautiful, awesome stuff. Beautiful. This is good to go. Now I am happy with this. So what are we going to do? We are going to exit from this and you should be able to see this update on this web page right here. Wilson's special spicy chicken sandwich. Wilson's homemade hot sauce with chicken tenders, extra hot and vegan. So you can actually go in here, same thing, edit everything that you want to do. The slides are here, special offers, wings, chicken tenders, chicken sandwich. Now, some of you might be wondering, hey, Wilson, you just uploaded that image. Where did it go? Well, this is basically not the layout that would showcase the image. So if we want to change the layout, we can easily just click on here and click on settings to see what kind of layouts we can choose on how this is being portrayed. Now we click on layout. As you can see, we are on the hardy layout. So this is how the menu is being shown at, as, as of right now. There are different ways of showcasing your menu. Some people like to make it a little bit more condensed. And other people like it more slim. Ah, I like this one a lot. Yummy. I like it when the menu really showcases the product uh, because I think that's what really would get people wanting more. So this is going to be the layout I choose. And all I have to do is just this is the layout. You don't need to manually move things around. And this template does, does everything for you. And this, this looks great. You know what? I'm going to stick to this. And let's say, for example, you want to customize this to more of your specific branding and design. So I can easily just click on design menu and I can change up how things look. Um, I can definitely change and customize these different colors right here. Orange gray, white, green. You know what? Instead of calling it menu, I'm going to call it Wilson's menu. You know, so it fits into one. There you go. Okay. So now that we have figured out our menu on the desktop version, let's figure out our menu and to make sure that it also looks good on the mobile. How do you do that? First of all, let's preview this, make sure that this is the way that we want it. You can click on preview and this is what shows up when people land on your website. So as you can imagine already, as you update all these different images with your menu item, I'm going to go back to the editor and let's check out how this would look on a mobile version. And this is how it looks on your desktop. We, if we switch it to mobile, we get to see how it would look on the mobile version. I'm going to play around with it a little bit myself. And honestly, this is a really great interface already as I'm just kind of scrolling through. I think I, I, I do like this. Let's say if I want my contact us page to be, hmm, you know what? This looks great already. You know what? I don't want this section. I can just click into it and I can just hide it. Wait, I can hide this too. Just so then that way I want people to message me if anything, and I want this to be super clean. And I actually don't have much changes I want to make. I want this icon to move on this side because everyone's right, right handed. So I think like it would be nicer if the thumb would be able to press on it, change icon. You know what? Let's change it to this one. Nah, you know what? Let's change it to a rocket. I think that's pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Top, this one is good. And then what do, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Animate this, this can be design layouts. There you go. I can change it to the right. I can make this big. Oh, just higher, lower, horizontal. You know what? This is perfect. And there you go. Just created my own menu. Now let's check out how we can check out 
the ordering system. So now that we are done with our menu section, we figured out and added all our menu. Let's figure out how to set up our online ordering system. So right here, you can click on the page that we're trying to edit. We're going to go to order online, click on that. And this is what it would show up from the desktop. Once again, once you have updated these, these would be already um, looking a lot nicer for you. And then all we're going to do is, you know what? We need to manage the orders. Let's check this out. So once you're here, you are going to be brought to the dashboard. And when you're on the dashboard, you are actually able to set up a lot of different features such as advanced ordering, such as the pickup delivery addresses and so much different other items right here. Obviously, if you want to be able to accept payments online and have those orders, you must have and add your payment method connected to your bank or your PayPal, whatever the case is. So then that way you can start collecting payment. So where am I going to go? Orders. Let's do settings. And right here, you can see that ordering is on. Customers can order by phone only. Upgrade now so people can check out and pay online as well. So looks like it's a feature to make sure that we can actually, um, have a checkout feature only with the upgraded platform but at the end of the day it's something you can still use if you want to be able to use for phone ordering as well so right here you can edit that on customers can't order your menu still shows so basically if you're not accepting any orders online or phone you can turn it off or you can actually turn it on um, let's say here, you know what? I turned it off. People can order from me. Let's say today it's my daughter's birthday. I'm not going to be working. We're closing the, the, the shop today. I can just click this off and then I can say daughter's birthday out of office. And apply. There you go. Um, and then right here, you can set up the pickup orders and let them know where to pick up their location or their food. So I can add a location right here. Let's say I'm going to search for our, uh, let's say, hmm, let's just type in an address. You know what? This is the address we're going to type in. You know what? Right here. Boom. Opening hours every day. We can set the different operating hours as well based on your own operation timeline as well. So and let's do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we're going to have it's not going to be 24 7 it's going to be oops actually every single day we're going to be operating from 10 a.m till 9 p.m there you go now i'm going to delete this one and we're good to go beautiful you can add your logos here you can add your phone number and you know what wilson's wings your business info. I'm going to save this. So we are good to go. Back to pickup settings. Orders are ready for pickup 15 minutes after they've received shown a checkout. Beautiful. This is good. We can actually customize. Usually how long does it take for you to create your orders? Let's say if it's 30 minutes, I'm going to write 30 minutes and we can save. We're on to the races. Now this is done for ordering. Let's check out other order settings. Deliver. Do we do delivery or not? Let's say we do do delivery. This is going to be minimum order would be $50. Delivery charge would be, let's say $10. Maximum delivery time. I'm going to set it at 45 minutes. It's going to be during opening hours. The radius is probably going to be five. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too big. Five miles. There you go my new area. Nope. This is good to go. I can do delivery. There you go. As you can see, 50 plus area is going to be $10 for delivery at, and at 45 minute time frame. Pinpointing address. Beautiful order settings. Again, I deliver to one area and then we can have different tabs to alert me if someone orders from me as well. This also allows us to actually receive our orders either on our desktop or an iPad or on our Mac Wix mobile app as well. So it's very, very convenient for us to use. Advanced. So what I was mentioning earlier is that customers can leave a tip 
even previous, even before they order as well. I can easily just turn this on, make sure that I set up my online payments first, but right now I don't have my PayPal link to this, so I cannot do this, but nonetheless, I can easily just click this button and it would be good to go. Customers can actually place future orders or delivery as well. So for example, how long can they set in advance? Maybe let's say seven days, one to seven days. This is perfect. When da da da, this is per, but this is perfect. I like this. This is good to go. Now, this is super, super simple for us to use and to set up our ordering system to make sure that we know exactly how to manage the, and the expectation of people placing their order and delivery as well. And this would be all reflected as people click on these items to check out. And as a demonstration of how this whole thing works is that we can actually click on preview to see how it would work. Now we have set up everything as you can see right here. Delivery ASAP 45 minutes. I can change this to pick up only. I can pick up from this address ASAP in 30 minutes or specific time. You know what? Let's do delivery. I can either set it up as ASAP or I want to set it up for tomorrow, picking it up at 7.30 p.m. Perfect. I'm going to order Wilson's spicy chicken sandwich. I want extra hot sauce. Yeah. Add that to my order. And then you can see view cart. And this is what I was just testing out earlier. So I'm just going to remove that right here. As you can see here, my order is right here. The delivery is already added up here and I can easily just click on checkout and we are good to go. So as you can see here, the minimum of $50, we can, e we can just go back to our settings if we want to change these things uh, later on. So it's uh, quite intuitive and easy for us to do. Now order notes, please. Call me at one to three when I arrive. There you go. And now click checkout, checkout, and we are good to go. Now that we have figured out how to create our own menu, we figured out how to manage our online ordering systems. Now that we figured out these two items, it is time for us to add in our last feature, which is to take reservations in the case that people want to come in and dine at our restaurant. Now, how do you do this? Well, we need to create another page specifically just for taking reservation because I want to make sure this is clean. So I'm just going to come here and click on add pages and I'm going to name this reservations. Beautiful. And as you notice, and I can just click this off, this is a new page that we ordered. Now, as you can see, this is a brand new page. Now, how do we add the reservation plugin into this page? Well, you can actually explore a bunch of these things to make it look nicer and everything. However, we're gonna click on add apps. And this allows us to find different plugins that allows us to have the reservation feature. And on this bar, we're gonna type in Wix, reservation this one click right here and you can see this is something we can add to our website now once we click this as you can see this is already loading up and while this is loading i do also want to mention is that people would want to have the reservation and jump to this page as you can see we, ha we create a new page, but how do we get access to this page when people come on? We want to make sure there's another button so people can actually come here. So I want to click into this, manage my menu, and I'm going to add a new menu item called, and then I can actually click different of these items to, uh, for it to either pop up a new link or to go to a different site page, which is the one that I just created. So this is the one that I want to add to reservation and apply it. Boom. Now this shows up and it is good to go. So when people click on reservation, it would jump to this specific page. Now this pops up. I can move it anywhere I want. I'm going to make this so then it expands a little bit further. It looks nice. Dead center is one where I want it. Make it look bigger. Boom. Good to go. Now for me to edit, the different and manage the different technology or like the settings. I can just click on manage reservation. 
for me to manage the different settings that allows us to see how people can actually do their reservations on our platform. And as you can see here, I can click on settings and I can either turn off my uh, reservation or turn it on. I can actually customize how many people, let's say if I have only 12 people max for a table, I can max it up at 12 people. Advanced notice, customers must reserve 30 minutes ahead of time. Let's say for example, you, we don't take same day reservation. We take 24 hours in advance. So I can go like this one day in advance, grace period. Your hold reservation, we click up to 15 minutes, perfect. Tables are available, either opening hours or it'd be custom hours that we want people to reserve, such as we only take reservations during nighttime. Okay, so I can just select all the days that I want, which is these three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm gonna only have, let's say six to nine is when I want to have my hours so this is what it does we can click on save so after you click on this button you can actually see and send your customers confirmation of the fact that either their reservation is being confirmed or that it is pending confirmation and you can come back here notification you can send them notification through email and even text as you set this whole thing up so very very simple for you to set up this is already all done and all you have to do is just click X and you are good to go. So how do you do this? How do you check if it works or not? Click on preview and this is what it would look like. I can click on reservation. I can click on order online. There you go. I can click on home. This is the home page. This is the menu page. I'm gonna show the burger. Beautiful order online. Let's make sure this works. 45 minutes, perfect, view cart. And I can check out right here, this is beautiful. I can add these things to my cart, add it to my order. And you see this is added on here, beautiful. Order works as well, reservation, the page that we just added, boom. Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, six to nine, right? Let's click on this, let's see the time. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., perfect, party size. 12, up to 12 people. This is exactly how I want it. And this, my friends, is how you can create a website in less than 20 minutes. And definitely, it is something that you should definitely explore doing yourself because, once again, if you do invest in an agency, they would cost you upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. And whereas, if you are working with someone overseas, you don't have the flexibility on how you do this. And at the end of the day, I just showed you how simple it is to actually update your own website. And with a little bit more tweaking and tinkering, you can actually create a very beautiful website with a platform like Wix. So definitely check it out in the link below if you haven't already done so check out Wix. It is a very great platform for you to create a customized website all at your own fingertips. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe along the journey if you want more restaurant tips and tricks. I'll see you guys in the next video.